Belmont and our Midverse. The Midverse burned as battles were fought for years between the Demon Bands and the legendary defenders, the Knights of the Thunderfist. As the world stage fell, the black metal smith Mordeth forged a guitar with the power to block the demon from our world. The Chronocaster. Mordeth shredded the solo of the Rightan from the top of Tower Sunaruk, locking up the portal to Helmoth. The demon world was shut off from the Midverse, and the demon stuck here fled into the night. The portal was locked. But Mordeth and the Chronocaster never came back down from that tower. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Cade Plays Power Chord. Oh, we're going to have a good time right here. Any of all who have played Slay the Spire, similar idea. Things have been all or any other since Mordeth rogue like the portal. So how the hell did that demon get through the gate? <laughs> Better grab a couple bouncers and deal with it. Or Iron Cast, the drum shield and last night of the Thunder Fist. And bring your brawl fist. The Rage Brewing Guitarist. Now, bounce that demon fast before it starts any shit. Yeah, baby. So it's a it's a team-based uh card-based deck builder. And it's all around this idea of it's band fights. So Boar Iron Kest. One of the legendary heroes from before. He is our drummer. Uh, drummers are tanks. Grimnir Brawlfist. That is our uh, lead guitarist. And he is a damage dealer. DPS. He builds up rage by taking damage. Deals it back as extra damage. He also gets rage from... Uh, some of his cards. All right. So super briefly, how this works. I've got four energy. The cards each have a cost to play. And I can play the card. So blue are drummer actions. Red, guitarist actions so far. So he is going to deal three damage to Grimnir. But that is actually just going to hit his armor, so we don't have to care about that. So it's going to broadcast what the next turn is going to be coming back. Also, this soundtrack is just sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right. And then let's hit him with the old one, two. We will then armor him up. And end the turn. We'll hold on to that barrier. Or, well, I don't think you can hold on to the barrier. Because his armor damage still generates rage. So we can use draw blood again for the kill. Boom. There he goes. This aesthetic, I love. I am a dirty punk boy. I've always been a dirty punk boy. So this is just beautiful for me. Band if you're gonna clear them all out. Meet Stitch, a medical enthusiast on vocals and the closest to a hero you're going to find in this whole damn city. All right. Singers are buffer units. So she's gonna be able to provide me a lot of buffs singing through her gun-sighted megaphone. There's also a singer on the other side who's going to be a problem. So she 
generates blood charges and power charges. And their blood bag. Whenever this character plays a support card on an ally, consume up to four blood charges as healing for that ally. So if she gets blood charges, she gets blood charges by dealing damage. And then she can uh, pop those blood charges to add healing to other support abilities. So we could, for example... Alright, here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. First things first, we'll barrier her so that she's not going to take any damage. And we're going to work on taking out their, their buffer. And I'm going to get her to power charge... Grimnir, their attack's going to come in at zero damage. All right. So he's going to try and deal five damage, which is going to hit the armor. He's going to try to deal three damage. That's also going to hit the armor. So we don't have to really worry about blocking for anything right now. Deal two damage to a single enemy and heal for up to four health. If up to four health, if health damage was dealt. So we'll do this. He's now doing additional damage because he's got one power charge. So we could do one damage two times to a single enemy. Let's go ahead and gain more rage charges by destroying this guy. We'll give this guy the old one too. And we'll let our armor soak that hit i just love this aesthetic man this is so gorgeous to me so grant two power charges to a single ally <clears throat> or i'm pretty sure i can actually just take this guy out by doing this perfect yeah anybody familiar with uh, with card based like deck builder roguelites this will be nothing new to you but it's just it's all about the theme and the aesthetic so now we have a uh, now we have a bass player I think we can do that with this extremely ugly but uh extremely ugly base all right so that's the that's another that's an enemy tank so this guy he adds toxin so corrosion damage does dot to armor toxin does dot to health and he's all about poison and corrosion so he's kind of a debuffer. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're gonna poison this guy. We got three energy, so let's let's draw blood. Let's let's start hammering some uh, hammering some damage into that tank, and then I'm gonna armor my base player. So he should be able to survive a hit. All right, good. So he's entered a guard stance. Stance effects last until broken by taking health damage or changing to another stance. All right. So that character is being guarded. He's being guarded by his drummer. Now what I could do is I could augment Grimnar deal 9 damage break the stance and then deal 1 dam one deal 1 damage 3 times to random enemies right which is going to stack poison charges up on him because he's already poisoned Okay. Alright, we're looking good here. 
So he's dead next turn no matter what. And then what we can do after that is just draw blood. And then hell, let's just do this. Boom. Get destroyed by the power of base. Yeah, just just this gorgeous this wasn't a couple straight gutter punk case that is. It's a full spikes on everything. I, this is the demon so my jam. Come together to storm Tower Sunarok. If they find the Chronocaster up there, hell is going to spill out of that portal. You ain't again. finding my Chronocaster. Without the Black Metal Smith, we're going to need new Knights of Thunderfist to stop them. Load up your gear, get your ass to the tower, and grab the Chronocaster first. All right, there is our mission. We just need to get heavy and bust our way up into that tower. Grab the Chronocaster. So here we get some gear. We get rest sites. Mysterious events. Shop. There's an elite roll that way. Elite roll that way. I, th I feel like I want to go up this path. Alright. So let's check this out. What do we got? Got a bass player. <coughs> a bass player and a singer. So we're gonna drop. I'm actually gonna focus on dropping this bass player first, because the less damage over time I can take, the better. So we're gonna augment. We are going to. He's just gaining power charges for a little while. Um, all right, and he is going to grant power charges. All right, so why don't we do this? Why don't we take him out like this first so he can't ridiculously overbuff. I got no more energy and I don't need the barrier for anything. All right, so he's about to throw two damage on Grimnar and a whole bunch more damage on everybody else but not if I can do something about it which I absolutely can wipe him out with the power of the axe man all right what do we want to get here deal seven damage to a single enemy and add one barrier charge to ally band on armor break That seems pretty powerful. All right, cool. Let's go for another one. So this is it. This is the game. It's just like, look at this thing. It's just gorgeous. It's sick. The wild card is a reckless bassist built for lots of small random strikes. I've known bass players like that. Hell, I've been one. Um... Yeah, interesting story for any of y'all who are listening and may not know. I'm actually a bass player. Two damage and heal of damage. No need for that right now. So what are y'all going to do? You're going to dice roll. You're going to double impact. So let's get some rage charges going. Let's get some... Let's get some poison charges going. And then let's try and bounce up that poison damage a little bit. And then we're going to barrier him. All right. So he only took two damage. All right. Seven damage to a single enemy at one barrier charge when we break armor. So if I can bring his damage down a little bit more. So I could use my singer to heal my bass player. My bass player gets some power charges. 
I can then I could then one two and sunder to break armor or I could just armor my base player I've got two more energy to do a crushing roar I right, hit this guy I have a plan don't you worry Everybody just ate that with their armor. So then we're going to draw blood. We're going to draw blood. Poison is actually going to take care of this guy pretty quick anyway. That went spectacularly. All right. And then he's got... 8 health, so if we draw blood and then I'll armor her just gotta reduce that damage see? this is going really well and then I will have my base, my drummer just destroy that guy ugh beautifully done alright, what are we gonna take next? It's a stance. Gain one rage for each health damage dealt by this character. The rare stance. Alright, I'm into it. Or, gain plus four, plus four armor at the start of each turn and guard a single ally. Actually, defender. I think Defender is the play. Alright, I can go for one more. Man, name, like, anybody in the comments, name this band. Jeez. Aggressive guitarist lashes out the flurry strikes, powers up when you hit it in a stance. Alright, so this is going to be one of those things where I'm going to want to barrier up. Let's deal. So if I do five damage, this will go up to seven damage. So that immediately reduces the amount of incoming damage we got. Base player is going to take three. Owie. All right. Then we are going to, we are going to augment our drummer. We're going to dice roll on these guys. I only need to hit them one time. And then if I sunder him, I get a barrier charge for everybody because I caused armor break and I broke his stance. This was good. This was a good move. There will be zero incoming damage. Boom. Get the fuck out. You stupid bastard. And then I can arterial bite. I really got to take this guy out before he grows his damage anymore. And then I can, uh, yeah, okay, I can take him out. Bam. Sit down, buddy. And everybody's guarded up, so I can just, I could do worse than just poisoning the guy right now. Yeah, blocked it. You ain't got shit. All right, and now let's just go straight damage. Or, or, actually, let's augment to heal, and then let's do this. 
all done. Toasted him. Beautiful. Six damage to a single enemy, and if it does health damage, gain two power charges. I'm cool with that. Let's play. Get some gear. Crystal Tick. The first damage dealt by this character in a battle heals them for the amount of health damage dealt. Gear cannot be moved after it has been equipped. Gear can be replaced, but not removed. So the first damage dealt by this character in a battle heals them for the amount of health damage dealt. I, I feel like, like, this is my call right here, right? Since he's the damage dealer and he's the most reliant on being able to give and take damage. So there you go. That's our first episode of Power Chord. I am loving this soundtrack. I'm loving this aesthetic. I'm loving the mechanics. So come with me on this journey. Maybe we'll do a run or two. I have been Cade. This has been Power Chord. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.